Good morning. It's Friday the 17th of September and welcome back to Radio Greenside and this school year's very first episode of... Okay, 2021 and 2022 is quite a special year. It's the year of going places. We're all set for an exciting and fun term ahead, learning through our hook of journeys, real and metaphorical, journeys of discovery, and more. And before we journey into each year's films, stars of the week, and our immersive experiences, we've got a couple of very important announcements. The Greenside Food Experience website is live at www.thegreensidefoodexperience.com. That's our official website for everything we do with our exceptional food program and initiatives and with everything nature at Greenside. Be sure to subscribe by hitting the Join the Community button in the website. You can also find the website at the links in our Instagram bio along with the links for this podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, and YouTube. And now, an important announcement from Saja. Some of our talented Greenside students this month have told Little Miles' incredible story through a dance piece. We have invited schools across the world to learn our dance and perform it at 2 o'clock on Friday the 22nd October to share our huge welcome to London and England. Little Marl is an 8 foot high puppet, a 9 year old refugee walking from Turkey to Manchester to ask the world not to forget a child like her. We can't wait to meet her in London again. All right, thank you so much, Saja. So do be sure to stay posted on all things Little Amal, and you can follow her on Instagram at walkwithamal to keep uh, updated with her journey all the way across Europe and up to Manchester. So now let's move on to our stars of the week. In nursery, we've got Ariel for playing well with others and for doing a great job tidying up. We've got Mo for being really helpful and kind to others. The stars of the week in reception are Gracie and Zach for being so kind and helpful. Then in year one, we've got Mia for independently completing a piece of non-fiction writing about lions and Cruz for settling into the year one routine so beautifully and diligently completing all of his maths work. Then, in year two, we've got Seifan for a fantastic first piece of writing urging the Prime Minister to take action on climate change a bit more seriously, and Tiana for showing great independent skills when tackling her work. Then, in year three, our stars of the week are Magnus for a fantastic start to Greenside and for the care he takes over his work, and Victoria for her hard work and resilience during the maths conference this week. What a maths conference that was. In year four, we've got Talia for working extremely hard on every piece of writing we have worked on so far and for being very resilient, one of our world ready skills, on our paper plane challenges. Then Priya for getting settled in so nicely to Greenside, a brand new school for her. Well done, Priya. And in year five, we've got Fiona for being consistently kind to everyone around her and for being a wonderful keeper of the year five library. And Santa for making a wonderful start on the SMSC book and for going out of his way to help others. Then finally, in year six, we've got Yasin for a fantastic start to year six. Yasin has worked extremely hard and has modeled an exemplary attitude. And finally, Sarai for her ongoing kindness and for being so conscientious so far this year. Keep up the great work, all stars of the week. All right, so new school year, new films. Let's look at some of the exciting films and film learning that's going on from nursery and reception all the way up to year six. Down in the early years, they have started the new school year by learning all about the magic school bus. They've been following the exciting adventures that the Magic School Bus takes, including a magical field trip to discover a different, uh, all the different aspects of the human body. This inspired some X-ray themed artwork to help them better understand the human skeleton. And then in year one, um, they are watching the wild thornberries. 
the series is all about a family that goes on a journey to different places around the world, and we cannot wait to see where the year ones will travel next. We are traveling to Canada, the home of Anne with an E, which is our new series for the term. We already have in, immersed ourselves into Canada cultures with pancakes and maple syrup, learned about na- native wildlife and began, began our big steam big project looking at seed germination. We are super excited for Anne's journey to help you free out the remainder of the series. Amazing. Thank you so much, Ali Reza. In year three, our class film is Coco, which is set in Mexico. We have been learning about Mexican culture and looking at the journey the character makes from the real world to the land of the dead during Dia de los Muertos. Our class film is called Paper Planes. It takes place in Australia and it's about a boy named Dylan trying to beat the world record in paper plane tossing. We are on our own journey to the skies to toss our own paper planes modelled after birds found in Australia. Our class film is The Queen of Catwick. It is set in Uganda about a young woman from a slum in the capital of Uganda, which is Kampala. Her journey of, of, the le- of learning chess helps her to find a better life and move her family out of the slums. Year 6 is our learning about Carve Her Name with Pride, a biographical film about war. Hero Violet Zabo throughout her career as a World War II spy. Zabo went through many journeys. Some, some were physical to complete her missions and some personal that she navigated at a challenge time. Okay, thank you so much, Rataj. And now we are on to our big immersive film experiences. Have you seen a lion, elephant, or giraffe walking around Greenside? Well, year one certainly have. They went on a journey through Africa and spotted lots of different animals. But don't worry, they were well prepared for their uh, travels with binoculars, safari hats, and lots of water to keep them hydrated. In year two, their first week, they got really into the Canadian spirit by taking part in a range of activities, including dining on a favorite dish of pancakes and maple syrup, as a Canadian, I totally get that. Learning about some native species such as moose, caribou, and beavers, then making them uh, using a range of materials and finding out about the significance of the Canadian flag and re- recreating it for our class displays using different mediums. What a day down in year two. Then over in year three, they started off the year with their very own Dia de los Muertos celebration. They made uh, skull masks, bread of the dead, and papo picado. This helped them learn some of the Spanish words in the film and gave them the inspiration for their writing later in the week. Moving on to year four, year four's big immersive experience this past Tuesday was Australia Day Might, uh, where we made fairy bread, a popular birthday party treat with white bread, butter, and sprinkles, Aboriginal dot art, and an annotated map of Australia and its states and cities. Mr. Tilden, that's me, inflected a very cliche Australian accent as we dove headfirst into all things Australia, where our film is set. On to year five. They began uh, their film by learning chess as a class. They followed a trail of chess pieces that led to the board uh, set up in the room. They watched videos and learned about the different experience, the different pieces with different uh, games. By the end of the morning, year five were chess experts. They are really looking forward to heading outside for their life-size chess at the end of this half term once they're uh, nearly finished uh, studying through Queen of Catway. On to year six, finally. They listened to the declaration of war together, gathered around an old-fashioned radio. Later in the week, they experienced what war would have felt like for girls versus boys. The boys went on to army drills while the girls stayed in class and sewed, but don't worry, they swapped afterwards, of course, so both could have the same experiences. Thank you so much for tuning in to Radio Greenside's first of the year episode of Radio Newsletter. And don't forget to check out the Greenside Food Experience at www.thegreensidefoodexperience.com. Don't forget to follow Little Amal at 
Walk with Amal on Instagram, and of course, us at Greenside Primary School also on Instagram. And as usual, please be sure to subscribe to this podcast on whichever platform you use Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music, and it's also uploaded to YouTube. That's all for now. We'll see you next time on. Yeah.